Want to add some flavor to your major chords? Well, one simple trick is to add a seventh, and that'll turn your major chord from slightly blandish to pretty bluesy. Not only that, but if you can master this chord and use it in a simple chord progression, you'll also be playing one of the greatest Beatles A-sides ever. Okay, have a listen to this. Can you hear the difference between a major chord and a seventh chord? One, two, three, four. Beautiful, if you ask me. But how do you form a seventh chord? Let's have a look. On the screen now, you can see two different ways of forming the A seventh chord. And on the left is what I think is the easiest, using two fingers. And you could use the second finger and the third finger, with the second finger going on the second fret of the D string, the fourth string, and the third finger, which is going on the second fret of the second string, which is the B string. And you will play the top five strings, and you'll use your thumb to dampen this uh, low E string. The other way, the other fingering that you can use is to use the first and second fingers. Same frets, same strings, oops, and I always find this one a little bit more difficult because there's something about when I use the first and second finger, this part of my uh, hand seems to kind of dampen the high E string. And I, yeah, I get this. Yeah, it doesn't work very well for me. But using the second and third fingers works per perfectly well for me. Now, the second shape, and the one that I really love playing, because I love the sound of this one, uh, it's a little bit more difficult because what you're doing is you're flattening your first finger over the D string, the G string, and the B string at the second fret. So one finger is playing those three strings. And what you are then doing to give you this kind of seventh sound is you're putting your third finger on the third fret of the high E string. Okay, and you get that. I think that sound is really cool. And, you know, again, you're playing five strings. And you're using your thumb to dampen this sixth string. And so this is the first shape. And here's the second shape. Again, first shape, second shape. Now you tell me which sound do you prefer? Let me know down below in the comments. Seventh chords aren't just bluesy chords, but they're also used to kind of connect chords together. So uh, going from A major to D major, it's very common to use a seventh chord, especially in blues and rock time music. So, you know, here's an A major. A7, that's a very, very common little progression that. A, A7, D. And this is the chord progression I want to practice now with you. So on the screen you can see what I'm playing, A for a bar, a7 for a bar, D for a bar, and then A for a bar. And this just repeats as much as you want. So let's play this together, me and you. I hope you've got your guitar, hope you're in tune. And nice and slow, okay? One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. 
And if you listen to the Beatles' Ticket to Ride, now just before the middle where they sing, I don't know why she's riding so high, listen to John's little cheeky A7 just before he goes to the D chord. <laughs> Which version of the A7 chord do you think he uses? So it's a kind of a, a simple chord progression, A to A7, D and back again. But you know, we can, as I said, this is a, a bit of a bluesy chord. And what we can do is make the strumming a little bit bluesier. And one of the most common ways of strumming um, is, is to do this. So let's try that chord progression again, but with that bit of strumming. Here we go. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two. Sounding pretty cool, don't you think? And pretty bluesy. Now, that chord progression, in a nutshell, is basically one of my favorite Beatles songs, Get Back. That's all it really is. There's a little G and there's a little D in there as well, a little extra D. But the basis of the song, the verse and the chorus, is just that. So you can just sing one, two, three, four. Georgia was a man who thought. all the verse and the chorus is just the same again get back get back get back to where you once belong that's all get back is you know that's the basis you know that you could impress anybody with that if you want to add the little those parts that's just G and D and so if I play the chord progression it goes one two Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So the G and that D is on the third and fourth beats of the bar. It's pretty cool just playing that. Give that a go. Let me know how you, how you get on with it. Now this video here is a classic guitar chord progression called 12 Bar Blues. It uses A, D, and E. Now, why don't you play along to that and add some seventh chords? It'll sound smooth, man. Thanks for joining me today. Happy strumming.